XRD pattern peak shift occur due to many reasons. For example, due to crystallite size, due to doping phenomena, due to thermal annealing, as well as strain exist in a material. We know that strains are in two types, micro strain and macro strain. In today's video, I am particularly talking about why the peak shifts toward lower 2 theta due to macro strain. What is macro strain? Macro strain means when there is a strain and the strain distributed uniformly throughout the material. This we know this is basically the crystal lattices and these are the corresponding diffraction lines or peaks, XRD peaks. We know that when there is no defects or strain in a material, so the interplanar spacing is represented by D0. These are basically plane here. Then mean when the atoms are basically located here. And the, the distance between these two planes are basically called this interplanar spacing or lattice spacing. So in this material there is no strain and we get the exact peak like in XRD we get these peaks here. I just magnify one peak from the XRD pattern here. Right? So it is exactly in the old the position 2 theta. Now when there is a strain and uniform strain and this is basically called tensile strain. When there is a tensile strain because we just elongate this to the left side as well as to the right side. So we can see that the strain is basically uniform because this, this is also one plane, this is another plane, this is another plane and we can see that the distance are equal here throughout the material. So the strains are there but it is uniformly strained in the material and we can see that this interplanar spacing is greater than the original interplanar spacing here. Is it here? So this means that now in this material we have large interplanar spacing. So we know from Bragg's law, this is that the interplanar spacing in the two theta or the angle is inversely proportional to each other. We can modify this equation, we see here. So if we have large interplanar spacings, so we will have small angle. And from X-ray diffraction, we, we don't have other thing, because, but we have to shift this peak toward the left. How? Because once we have large interplanar spacings, so we need to shift the peak toward the lower angle. And we don't have other options, but the peak has to shift toward the lower side. And this is why the peak shifts toward the lower due to a macro strain. Now we already proved that why XRD peak shifts toward the lower angle and we explained it that due to macro strain in the material. When there is a macro strain in the material, so the XRD peak will shift toward lower. But two things are very important. The peak move, it's fine, but there is no change in the shape. We see here, the shapes are exactly same. The second important thing is the interplanar spacing is same throughout the material. These two are very, very important uh, consequences of the uh, macro strain that the peaks move to the left, but no change in shape. The shapes are same because we, we don't have the broad shape peak. We get the exactly same peak. The D is same throughout the material. 